I believe that if we find ways of generating and storing power from renewable resources, um, we will make the problem with oil and coal and other carbon problems disappear right. because economically we will wish to use these other methods. Right. And if we do that, right. a huge step will have been taken yeah. towards solving the problems of the earth. In our renewable energy future, batteries will be needed everywhere. They will be everywhere absolutely everywhere. They'll be in cars, they'll be in houses, they'll be in office blocks, they'll be in factories, they'll just be everywhere. They will be ubiquitous. But all the lithium batteries in the world today could only store 46 seconds of our daily power needs. We need to move to renewables, but we need a revolution in batteries to do it. Lithium-ion batteries were of course a massive leap in the early 90s but it increasingly shows limitations. Lithium ion battery production faces serious problems of supply, safety and critically of cost. Lithium ion batteries are expensive to scale. It is just not economical to produce the amount of batteries we need to store the power we use. Scalable green power requires a breakthrough in batteries and Jalion may be it. Our breakthrough uses inexpensive components that are readily available. We can solve the issue of scalability. That's what we've done with Jalion. Faced with the limitations of lithium ion technology, Professor Mashmeyer's team revisited an older battery chemistry called zinc bromine. By rethinking zinc bromine, Jalion has created powerful batteries with more common and thus low cost materials. Zinc is nine times cheaper per electron transferred than lithium. So the Jalion technology is a huge leap in terms of price. Lithium ion can also overheat, which makes them dangerous. Our gel is resistant to a blowtorch of a thousand degrees. It does not catch fire. We are very comfortable on this one. The supply of zinc and bromine is uh, well distributed around the world. Therefore, the cost is going to be stable and the supply is going to be secure. Very different to the case for lithium and cobalt. Traditionally, zinc bromine has been used only in flow batteries, large complex machines too expensive and impractical for true mass production. We, on re-evaluating the zinc bromine chemistry, came to the conclusion, hey, we can tweak this, we can make this better, we can make this more elegant, we can make it non-flow, we can make it look like a conventional battery. Gel Ion's first breakthrough is a new zinc bromine liquid battery, re-engineered to be non-flow, simpler and scalable. And Gel Ion's next generation uses revolutionary gel chemistry. One of the really cool things about the gel approach is that I can go from a capacitive type performance, so very fast power discharge, to a very slow and steady discharge with the same gel. All I have to do is vary the thickness of the gel. That's unique. Gelion is not just a new kind of battery, but a platform that can be adjusted for different purposes. This versatile platform technology, adaptable to more than one battery chemistry, enables Gelion to target diverse markets, including local storage in homes and offices, micro devices, and utility storage. In construction, in buildings, we are working together with a number of multinational construction companies. These companies want to act as test sites for our batteries to see how well they can incorporate them into their buildings, into the actual fabric of the building, so the wall will become a battery. As renewable energy continues to grow, the battery storage market will grow exponentially. The market is already 80 billion, and people easily talk about markets of size of trillions of dollars. Jalion is in the enviable position that we've hit our milestones 14 months early. 
So we now need to accelerate our program to capitalize on that breakthrough. We will have a fully mass manufacturable product towards the end of 2018, early 2019. Safe, abundant and low cost, the versatile Gel Ion platform can solve the problem of scalability to unlock the potential of renewables and power the future.